this video, it is a super small short course truck from High Boxing, the Violent SC 3100A. In this video, we're going to be unboxing it and then going out and giving it a test drive to see just how it performs. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Troy. This is Roadside RC. You'll tend to find me bashing or crawling or drifting or racing, plus doing product review videos and how to's. First step, let's get this thing out of the box. So in the box, 2.4 gigahertz controller, pretty standard. We've seen this model on a bunch of different vehicles. It's a good size, fits the hand well, has all the different trims and everything that we will need. You're gonna provide, have to provide three AA batteries to get it up and running. Full instruction manual, which is really great. A lot of these vehicles are targeted towards maybe more novice users, which means uh, the good troubleshooting, the good maintenance, introduction to the RC cars is really helpful, but it also has spare parts list back here. So if you start breaking stuff, you actually have some exploded diagrams and some spare parts list so that you can figure out how it all goes together and what the parts are that you need in case you need to fix them. Battery safety, a link to try to get in touch with the company if you need anything from them. Stickers, which it does not currently have any stickers on, so we can get to customize it however we want there. And in this additional bag, we have some body clips. We have, I believe this is the second battery to come with it, a 1000 milliamp 2S LiPo. We have two different chargers. These are USB chargers. They work, but it is probably one of the first things that you would want to upgrade if you have this car is to get a better quality charger for it. I can leave a link to one down in the video description. Uh, a couple little tools here, spare wheel hexes, some spare nuts. That is very useful. Along with, ooh, an extra spare drive shaft, diff cup, along with a turnbuckle and some pins. So they do provide some nice spare parts directly out of the box. That is not something that you see uh, on every vehicle. Turning our attention to the truck itself, it looks pretty sweet straight out of the box like this, actually. I don't even know if I want to put many other stickers on it. Suspension travel, this is a trailing arm design here. Not usually the best for like handling or jumping or anything along those lines, but it looks so good when it can do this. Look at that. Look at all that suspension travel that that gives you on the rear. Oh, it's a cool looking truck. Um, so that's fun. You have the other spare tires mounted back here for that scale look. Again, that's probably going to make it drive worse, but um, it sure looks cool. Uh, it has a little scale accessory fan kind of shroud looking back here and all that kind of thing. So that's really nice. We clearly have an LED bar in the front, which is fun. Tires are um, decent size for what we're talking about. Good off-road tread on them. They feel a little hard, but they should be overall pretty good. One thing I do like is, as you see this, not a lot of bounce. That means we do actually have oil-filled shocks on all four corners. That is very nice. Not something that you necessarily see all the time in this price point. We take the four body clips off and we remove the body. We've got to be careful with the LED lights here. They actually can unplug, but they can only go back in one way, so be very careful with that see that's taped in here now one thing that is a little bit of a pet peeve of mine we do need to peel this plastic which is fine they put a little protective plastic on here and it's so satisfying to pull it off until you get to the hard plastic parts and they have done it all over this truck. They put this hard plastic on top of this. So high boxing, if you are listening, stop doing this. So imagine you've now gotten this for your kid or even for yourself, like I have for myself. Now I have to come in here and I have to take all these screws off and I have to take all these pieces off, including the light up here and all the screws around it in order to cleanly get this plastic off. So it's either that or you take a knife and you very gently cut around this, but you want to be careful that you don't cut the body itself because the bodies on these are thin and even a tiny scratch can leave a weak spot for them. So you want to be very careful with that. Oh. <laughs> 
Now that we have access with the body off, I was wrong about something earlier. That is a brushless Hobby Wing, actually. Hobby Wing branded ESC on this side, which is great. Going to a brushless motor over here. Please take this off. It'll uh, help your life. Because um, that brushless motor is probably going to get pretty hot. But yeah, three wires here means brushless power. So that is great. It's actually really good information. So we have, we have oil-filled shocks. We have a brushless combo and a standalone receiver. So if you ever want to upgrade the motor in ESC, you don't have to also replace the controller while you're at it. That is great news. ESC has a standard T or Dean's plug style on it, which is great news also because you can get a bunch of batteries that are compatible with it. Pretty standard like that. So I have the battery that was in here getting charged. But with that, while that's charging, we can see here a little bit more. The oil field shocks are adjustable. You actually do have adjustable turnbuckles on each corner, which is nice to see. Uh, the steering linkages are, again, a uh, turnbuckle style, but our upper uh, control arms are just a thin, itty-bitty little plastic, and they can easily flex. So we may see that as we drive. Drive shafts are metal CVDs up on the front, it looks like. Yes. And in the rear, we see this telescoping metal drive shaft in the back. We have metal hexes on all four corners. I can see the aluminum sticking out there, so that's looking nice. Overall, it's a decently designed truck, very reminiscent of a few others like the Losi Baja Ray, the uh, Traxxas UDR, similar, um, similar overall design with the trailing arm and the, the rear cage here to those. There we go, a couple flashes from the ESC, receivers on. We now have steering in here, that is great. So it was a little slow, but that's okay. All right, very nice. Not the craziest powerful thing that's out there, but it should do quite nicely. Oh, look at that with the lights on there on the front, now sticking out. Rear doing the same thing. It looks great. <laughs> That's actually a lot faster than I expected. So let's bunny hop the curb. Does it have the power to come up and come in here and bunny hop it up? Oh, the live? Yeah. <laughs> you missed. Oh, ouch. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha. A front flip. Front, you did a front flip. Oh, you did a toilet. What? Oh. Oh, so close. All right. Does it live? It lives. Back from the test drive, and I'd be honest. That did dramatically better than I expected.
in the garage and even outside. It was faster than I thought it was going to be, uh, given just the 2S LiPo and that small little brush setup, that brushless setup that's in it. I will say, sticking my hand in here on that motor, it's got some heat to it. So be, do expect that you'll have some cool down between runs, that kind of thing, uh, especially if you're going to be running it in grass like we were, where it's, it just really makes a truck of this size work pretty hard if you're in that kind of a terrain. The jumping was actually better than I expected. Sometimes this trailer arm design that you see here doesn't jump very well. It tends to donkey kick, which is go in the air and kick the rear end up and typically results in a crash. Uh, you saw that a lot on the landings. It would land, compress, and then rebound over. And um, so it didn't like to land because of that rear suspension design, but it jumped nice. It handled okay. Uh, just again, true to this kind of this chassis design, um, if you turn too sharp, it's going to roll. Uh, part of that is that chassis design. Part of that's this weight up high here, that type of thing. So it does teach you to make sure, if you're newer to RC, it definitely teaches you to, to slow down before you turn. Otherwise, it will, uh, it will want to roll over in a high traction environment. But we had some pretty nasty landing straight to the roof, straight to both front and rear. And this thing is completely unscathed. It has some dirt on it has some grass stuck in it but other than that it absolutely did great the kids and i were out there we had a blast we didn't even kill that battery that's in it so really nice that it does come with two i think you're going to get a decent amount of runtime out of both of those and you have to consider this thing as i look at it right now on amazon it's like 150 dollars with like either like a 10 dollar coupon or something like that on top of it so really really budget friendly vehicle that you get here if you are interested in buying this i will have a link down in the video description awesome thing about that that is an affiliate link which means if you buy it you pay the exact same price you would uh, if you just were buying it outright but what happens is i get a little bit of kickback that helps me fund the channel and helps me be able to show off vehicles like this. I do a lot of vehicle reviews on the channel so if you have a curious if that maybe this is right for you or maybe there's something else out there that you're interested in come over here and check out this vehicle reviews playlist you'll see a bunch of other vehicles that are in this kind of price range that might interest you so I hope to see you in one of those videos thank you and goodbye.